Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechWine. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. Start the lab. Now log into the cloud console using the incognito window. And once you are logged in, open the cloud shell. Now go to the description of this video and you will find a link of my github repository. We will use this repository to solve this lab. First of all copy this first command. Paste it in the cloud shell. Now copy your project id. Simply paste it and hit enter. After this go back to the file. And copy these commands, simply paste it in the cloud shell and hit enter. Now open a new tab for the cloud shell and go back to the file. Then copy this command and run it. Now open the editor. Click on this open in a new window. Then again click on open in a new window. You can close this tab. Now go to file then open. Click on open. In the editor open this config.hcl file. Go back to the file and copy this code. Simply paste it. Save the changes. Again go back to the terminal. Click on open terminal. Reconnect. And after this again go back to the file. Copy these two commands. Simply run them. Open a new tab again. Go back to the file. Copy these two commands. Simply run them. Now please pay attention. Copy these unseal key and the initial root token. And open your notepad. Then paste the copied text. Let me zoom in a bit. Make sure to save all the keys and the initial root token. Again go back to the file. And copy this first command. Run it in the cloud shell. Now we have to unseal the vault and for this we will need these unseal keys. Copy this first key. Simply paste it. One more thing this key will not be visible to you so simply paste it hit enter. Copy this command again. Run it. Again go back to the notepad. Copy the second key. Paste it. Hit enter. Copy this vault command again. Run it. From the notepad copy the third unseal key. Paste it. Hit enter. Again go back to the file. Copy this second command. Then paste it. Go back to the notepad. Copy this initial root token. Paste it and hit enter. Again go back to the file. Copy this command. Then run it. Now minimize the cloud shell and go to the IM. Go to service account. Let me just close this and for this quick labs account click on actions then manage keys add a key then create a new key. This will download the key on your local system. Now we have to simply upload this key. Go to more upload then choose the files. 
in the download section of your system you will find this file click open then simply upload the file copy this command and paste it in your notepad you can remove everything paste the command now we have to add the path in the places of asterisk simply go back to the editor press a right click on this file copy relative path then carefully remove this paste the path copy whole command and run it in the cloud shell you will see this success message and if you are getting this type of white bar simply refresh in most of the cases you will not see this white bar open the cloud shell again and everything will be continued and make sure you are on the third tab for the cloud shell copy this command then run it then copy this code go back to the editor move to this bindings file paste the command and from the lab copy your gcp id then carefully remove this and paste the id save all the changes go back to the terminal and from the file copy this next command paste it copy a project id paste it and hit enter then copy this command run it copy the next command then run it go back copy this command paste it and after this you have to copy this token copy this token very carefully then simply paste it and hit enter and from the file let me zoom out a bit and copy every code from the line number 103 to the line number 122 paste it in the cloud shell and hit enter again go back then copy this command paste it and minimize the cloud shell go back and in the services account you will find this quick labs account copy it then paste it in the cloud shell and hit enter again we are getting this white line simply click on refresh open the cloud shell again move to the third tab of the cloud shell go back to the github file and copy these two commands then simply run them now you can go back to the lab and check the progress for all the task congrats you have successfully completed this lab and if this video solution was helpful to you make sure to subscribe to our channel techwine 